Hello all. Um, I just want to say a massive hello to all of our Year 10 students and to the parents, carers of those students. Today I'm going to be taking us through um, a live lesson tutorial on Microsoft Teams. We're going to be using Microsoft Teams um, from Monday the 8th of June at Albury Academy to enhance the learning experience students are receiving from us during this difficult period. Um, I'm going to start off by taking you through both Apple and Android of how you would get uh, Microsoft Teams as an app. Um, if you've got an Apple device, you'll be well aware of the App Store. And if you've got an Android, you will be aware of the Play Store. All we want you to do, if you're using a um, tablet or a mobile phone, is to find those and to download the Microsoft Teams app. Once you've done that, you will see the following. Where you've got all your other apps, you will see one that will just say Teams and that will be the Microsoft Teams app. Once you select that app, you'll be asked to sign in to that app. This is where students have got to, um, to know their school email address. Um, and we'll probably get asked quite often, so I can't remember, what is my school email address? And what it is, it is username that they use to log into their computers at school at Academy. Dot org dot uk. And below this, you will see an example of a student that will appear as part of this video. Once you select that signing in button, just here, that will take you through to the following. Um, and this is where you will enter the school email address, and that will go in here. So mine, for example, is patrick.drybra um, at albreyacademy.org.uk, which I would put into there. Once I've done that, it will take you through to the Agility signing in page. This is the same page as what you would get if you were accessing Show My Homework via Office 365 at home. Once I've typed in my school email address, that will also appear as my username there. Um, and you'll see it there. I'm now going to type in my password, which I enter in this box here, and I click Continue. And you'll see my password's there, so I hit Continue. And I'm given four, um, a little bit of a brief summary of what Microsoft Teams can, can use. It, one of those will be assignments. We currently are not going to be using assignments when we're using Microsoft Teams. So all we need to do is just go through those four and at the end, select got it um, and we'll move on. Two things it will ask. The first, it will ask Teams would like to send you notifications. When your child is um, invited to a lesson, they will either accept the lesson or won't accept the lesson. If they've accepted the lesson, they will get notifications prior to that lesson starting. So it will continue to remind them that there is a lesson at a particular time in the school day. Um, and so with this one, just allow. It will then ask um, Teams would like to access the microphone. And clearly we need to access the microphone to be able to hear what's taking place in the lesson. So I'm going to click OK. Once I'm in, Microsoft Teams takes us to, to the feed page. And this is where all the information that your child will need will be stored. So for example here, it tells me that I missed a call from David. Um, and it's just a test to see that that page has worked when we've gone into log today. The important part of this for your child is this more button here, okay? And when I select these three dots, the following page appears. And it gives me loads of different options. The one we're gonna focus on today is the calendar. So I'm gonna select this and that is gonna show me at what time and on what date certain lessons are going to be available for your child. All of our lessons at the school are from 10 till 11 o'clock and they will start from Monday the 8th of um, June. So I'm going to select calendar and it tells me all of the things that I've got going on. Some of this will be my old school timetable when we were in school, but today I'm going to focus on my demo live lesson, okay, which I've been invited to join. Okay. Now, before I join the lesson, um, teachers may have accessed um, files in preparation for that lesson. I'm just going to select that lesson and double click on it and I get to the following page. Um, and it shows me the participants in the lesson, who's gonna be taking part. Um, it allows me to join the lesson. It allows me to RSVP. Now, when I RSVP, the advantage of that is I'm telling the teacher, yeah, um, sir, miss, I'm gonna be attending that lesson. What that does is that will send the notifications to my mobile device um, prior to that lesson taking place. 
Now there are two places I can get the resources ready for that lesson. The first is when I select chat. So if I select chat, we will see the chat conversation of everything that is logged in um, that lesson. It will also show me a shared a file. So Dave has shared a file with me, which is algebra changing the subject. And that is the lesson I'm going, that is the file I'm going to be using for this lesson. So if I click this, I'll be able to save that to my computer. I'll be able to have a look at it prior to the lesson taking place. So when the teacher refers to question two in that booklet, I'll be able to access that booklet. So I can do it there. I also said it was another place I could do it. I can click more, okay, at the top. When I click more, it shows me files. And then if I select on the files, again, it shows me that David has sent me algebra changing the subject as a PDF file ready for that lesson to take place. Having downloaded the resources for the lesson, I'm now prepared for the, the lesson to take place. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm now gonna select join and I'm gonna start the lesson. And this will appear. It is vital at this stage, we've set the settings for the video to remain off. So you will be able to see the teacher teaching the lesson, but you will not be able to see your peers during that lesson. What you will see is your students' initials and the initials of other students in the classroom. We ask that you turn the mic off in this lesson, okay? The mics are all muted in the lesson and it will be the teacher who's speaking. I will come on to how you will engage in the lesson and be able to ask questions um, during the lesson that's taken place. Um, what I am going to show you now uh, prior to this is when I click join now, I will then be entering the lesson, okay? And having pressed that button, I now get the following screen. This is where I need to make very uh, clear that all lessons that are delivered via Microsoft Teams are going to be recorded by members of staff in the school. Um, they are gonna be stored on their machines and they're gonna be provided, um, shared also with the faculty leaders of the school and also uploaded onto Show My Homework. So students will be able to access those files after the lesson has taken place um, and access work that is gonna support that, that lesson. Um, so once I'm in this screen, I'm a part of it. When a teacher presses record, it will ask me, do you want to join this lesson? And uh, Because it's being recorded. And then on here, there will be a, a notification and I will have to agree to that notification to be able to engage in that lesson. And that's where consent will be given. Um, there's further information about that in our, um, our website, which can be found on the portal area of the school website, which gives information about how data is used on children and how consent is given. Um, once I'm in here, the real important part of the lesson is these three dots, okay? If I select these three dots, it gives me several options. Raise my hand is one of these options. And although we've said that students are muted in this lesson, if I raise my hands, it tells the teacher who's delivering, um, a pupil in that classroom has asked the question and the teacher will be able to unmute them and invite them to be able to ask the question um, during that lesson. Um, and that's the end of my tutorial today. Um, that takes you through um, how to use Microsoft Teams from the very start to, to being able to engage in the lesson. I hope you found it very useful um, and I hope that it really does enhance the learning experience you are having whilst we experience this very difficult um, time um, in school and, and in, the, in the world. Um, if I can be of any assistance, please just drop me an email. My email address is patrick.driver at oldbreakademy.org.uk and I will try my very best to answer those questions. Thank you very much for your time.